Circles. Explain how will you determine the radius of a circle if its circumference is given. It's a communication question. Try to give as much details as you can. It's basically reorganizing your formula, right? And then isolating R from the circumference formula, right? The second part of this is determine radius of the circle with circumference of 25 meters correct to one decimal place. So once you rearrange your formula, then you can do this numerical problem, right? So let's see how to do it. Now, let's read the question once again. Explain how will you determine the radius of a circle if its circumference is given. Now, you know, circumference is 2 times pi r, right? Now, if the radius is given, we can find circumference. But how do we find radius if we have a known circumference? Well, what we can do is, we can divide both sides by 2 pi. See here. So, c divided by 2 pi equals to 2 pi r divided by 2 pi, right? Now, this 2 pi, 2 pi cancel out and we can isolate r. So, we get r equals to c divided by 2 pi. And therefore, we can say, well, we can find radius by dividing circumference by 2 pi, which is 2 times 3.14, right? So, basically, c divided by 2 times 3.14 is the radius. Let me write it here once again. Radius is circumference divided by 2 times 3.14, which is 6.28. So that is the relation between circumference and radius, correct? Now, let's do the problem. The question is, determine radius of the circle with circumference of 25 meter, correct to one decimal place, okay? So, we know circumference is 25 meters. So let's put 25 here, right? 25 divided by 6.28. And we'll get what? Let's use calculator. 25 divided by 6.28 is equal to 3.98. 3.98. If we approximate it to one decimal place, then we can get one decimal place will be 4.0, right? We get approximately 4.0 and the units are meter, meter, right? So that is how we can solve this problem, right? So our answer is the radius of the circle with circumference of 25 meters is approximately 4.0 meters, correct? So have a good look at it and try to understand how we isolate radius from the circumference formula, okay? Thank you.